In this second module of Acronis Access Advanced Installation, we will cover the setup of the different services and applications. The Acronis Access Installer comes with configuration utility which allows you to quickly and easily set up the access to your Acronis Access Gateway Server, File Repository and Acronis Access Server. The Gateway Server is used by mobile clients to access both files and share. The Access Server provides the web user interface for Acronis Access Client and is also the administration console for both mobile access and sync and share. The Gateway Server is used by mobile client to access both file and shares. You will first configure the IP address for the Gateway Server. If your server is set with multiple IP addresses, select one of the address for the Gateway Server. If you check proxy requests for Access Server, then all communication will go through a single port, normally port 443. This simplifies the setup, especially for trial purpose. If unchecked, a separate port will be used for the Gateway and Access Services. Note that the standard two-port configuration is necessary for certain configurations, including mobile iron integration and single sign-on. There is normally no reason to change the file repository address or port, but you may want to change the file store path. That's the location where encrypted version of Think and Share files will be stored. Think of it as your company private Dropbox type of storage. You may want to set it on a D drive or a network storage. Note that the location is only meant to be accessible to the Axronis Access server, not as a general share. Now, you completed the setup with a wizard. After you have filled all the necessary fields, pressing Apply or OK will restart the services you have made changes to. It will take 30 to 45 seconds after the service has started before the Acronis Access server is available. At this point, a web browser will automatically launch and connect to the Acronis Access IP address and port. On the login page, set the administrator password and then the setup wizard will guide you through the setup process.